Hello everybody! In this video, I would like to use the example of a short sunset time lapse to demonstrate the use of Color Cone as a plugin. Since the Color Cone plugin works in both Premiere as well as After Effects, I took the liberty to load the clip in both programs. After you have installed Color Cone, you'll find the plugin among your effects. Simply type Color Cone into the Effect Search field and then drag the plugin onto the clip. I'll scroll the time lapse ahead a couple of seconds. Here, I would have wished for the sunset to be even more colorful, and I'll use Color Cone to help that a little. You have all of Color Cone's parameters listed in the effect controls, but I still recommend that you use Color Cone's actual GUI. You can find it on the right side of the effect, but note that the link looks slightly different in After Effects and Premiere. Every point in Color Cone includes a transformation from one color to another color, while the influence of surrounding colors is defined by the radius. Let's begin by creating the first point by using the plus eyedropper to select a color value in the image. This is the source value for the new point. To avoid any direct color changes of the source color upon the first selection of the point, the target value will automatically have the same color value. Now, we increase the saturation of the target color and slightly adjust brightness and hue. For a bigger area of influence, I simply increase the radius a bit. By the way, you can move the controls for source and target simultaneously by holding down the Command key on your Mac and the Control key on your Windows computer. For example, by simultaneously moving both brightness controls, you can see in which area the effect works best. As a second point, I'll pick the brighter part of this cloud and adjust my target color. Here, I slightly increase the radius too. Great! Now the sky looks colorful and I close the plugin user interface again. Since I don't want to apply this color correction to the entire clip, I create keyframes for the two points I just created by activating the animation for the source color, the target color, and the radius. When I rewind back to the beginning of the clip, I don't want any color correction to be in effect just now, so here I reset all of my settings. As you can see, this created new keyframes at the beginning of the clip. Now all of the color cone settings will be interpolated between the neutral settings at the start and the second keyframes with my saved colors. I'll let the video play for a little longer. Around here, the point I selected for the orange-red coloring has lost a lot of its effect. This is because the image's general brightness has changed. At this point, I want to use the orange point to enhance the natural effect of the orange, which is already there, even if it's only barely present in the original image. To achieve this, I use the eyedropper tool and select a new source value for this range down here in the sky. Let me just undo this step again to make the difference visible. Ok, let's redo this step and refine the target color as well as the radius even more. Here, that's much better. When I close the GUI, you can see that a keyframe has been added to the source color, the target color, and the radius at this point. This makes it easy to adjust all colors in Color Cone over time. If you want to learn even more tips and tricks for using Color Cone, you can simply check out the video tutorials of the standalone version. You can learn how to use Color Cone for three way color correction, how to perform a complex multi point white balance, how you can color match various different cameras, and a lot more. The operation of the standalone version is the same as the plugin. So let's go! I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel so you can see our videos when they come out. 
Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.